Now I'm going to take you through how to water cure your 3D print. This is a really quick and easy way of finishing off the print job. There are no toxic chemicals or hazardous substances used in this process, so it is really very safe. However, in saying that, we do recommend that you use some safety gear. What we would recommend that you use are some safety goggles, a face mask, and some nitrile gloves. I'm wearing a lab coat simply to protect my clothing, but it isn't recommended or necessary as part of this process. First thing I'll do is pop on my face mask. And my goggles. My gloves. There are some other items that you'll need for this process, which include paper towel. I've laid some paper towel down on the table and this will just help to pick up any overspray later on. There's also some wax proof paper here, and this is to stop the print, once I've sprayed it, it's to stop the print from sticking to the table or to the surface. There's a spray bottle here, which will make up a solution in. This spray bottle is part of your kit. You'll need a funnel to fill the spray bottle, some tap water, and some salt. And for this process, the only salt that we recommend is Epsom salts. To make up the solution in the bottle, you need to fill the bottle, using the marker here, to seven ounces with Epsom salts. It's important not to overfill or underfill. You need to be very accurate with this process. So pop the funnel into the bottle and fill up to seven ounces. Once you have seven ounces in the bottle, you need to use the tap water and fill the bottle to the 16 ounce marker, which is up the top here. If you're using a different spray bottle, there are specifications for different measurements. When you have that inside your bottle, pop the lid back on and give it a really good shake for about two minutes. What you're trying to do is dissolve the salt particles. You don't want to spray this bottle until all of the particles are dissolved. One way to speed up the process would be to use some warm tap water and continue shaking until dissolved. If the salt particles haven't completely dissolved in the bottle, they could block up the nozzle, which will prevent an even mist from spraying out of the bottle. And if there's too much water in the bottle, it could potentially turn your part very soft and make it weak. Once you finish shaking for two minutes, use a piece of paper towel and spray the bottle just to ensure that you've got a nice even mist coming out. If you don't, rotate the top of the, the bottle here on the nozzle, either to the left or to the right to adjust accordingly and test the spray again using the paper towel. When ready, simply just spray the part. You want a nice even coverage of water, but you don't want it to be wet. Spray the surface like so. and then carefully handle the part on the dry surface if possible and turn it around and spray the other side, ensuring that all areas are covered. When spraying, you should keep the bottle around about 30 to 50 centimetres away from the part, just to prevent it from getting too wet. Make sure that the surface is entirely coated. Don't touch where you've sprayed the surface if possible and cover the whole part. You could use a hairdryer to speed up the drying process. Otherwise, after about five minutes, it'll be touch dry and you can just pick that part up and move it to somewhere else. If you're relocating the part, you should place it onto a piece of paper towel 
just to assist with drawing out the moisture from the part. This part will be dry completely in about 24 to 48 hours. You could use an oven to speed up the process and you would need the oven set to 70 degrees Celsius and you'd need to have that part inside the oven for about one to two hours. This will also give you the maximum whiteness for the part if any of the areas are white. For any further information, reference your manual.